The way musicians put different parts of music together to make a piece of music is called its form. So when I take one section and then I put another section together, that's called the form of the music. So we are going to make a form called a rondo today. So here is how you spell rondo. And this is how it's put together. We have a main section that comes first. That's called the A section. And then after the A section is over, we have a new section called a B section that's different. And once that's over, we round back. That's kind of why it's called a rondo. We round back to the A section again. And then after that's over, we have something totally different, something new, the C section. And then we round back again to the A section. But we could keep going. We could add more new things. There could be a D, and then it goes back to A. And then it could be E, and then it goes back to A. A rondo always goes back to the main part. The main part in the alligator pie rondo is going to be the alligator pie rhyme. Alligator pie, alligator pie. Please don't take away my alligator pie. Take away the green grass, take away the sky, but please don't take away my alligator pie. The B section and the C section are gonna be rhythms that I've made up. So I'm just making them up from the rhythm cards we did. So my first one is gonna be Tadi 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 Ta Tadi Takadimi Tadi Ta. So that's gonna be my B section. My C section is gonna be the other two rhythm cards. So it's gonna be this one and then this one. Tadi Tadi Ta Takadimi Ta Takadimi Ta. So here is the entire alligator pie rondo. I'm gonna do alligator pie. Then I'm gonna do this as the B section. Then I'm gonna do alligator pie. And then I'm gonna do this as the C section. And then I'm gonna do alligator pie again. I'm gonna add in some body percussion to make it a little bit more interesting for you. And you can try it along with me. See if you can follow along, following the different sections of our rondo. Hopefully I don't knock any stuff over behind me. So. Here we go, alligator pie to start, B section, and then the alligator pie, and then the C section. I just wanna make sure you got it. So here we go. One, two, ready, and alligator pie, alligator pie. Please don't take away my alligator pie. Take away the green grass, take away the sky, but please don't take away my alligator pie. Toddy, 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 ta. Toddy, takadini, toddy, ta. Alligator pie. Alligator pie. Please don't take away my alligator pie. Take away the green grass. Take away the sky. But please don't take away my alligator pie. Ta di ta di ta. Taka di mi ta. Taka di mi ta. Alligator pie. Alligator pie. Please don't take away my alligator pie. Take away the green grass. Take away the sky. But please don't take away my alligator pie. That was the alligator pie rondo. So what you are going to do for your assignment today is play your part of the rondo. So you are gonna say alligator pie, and you could make up some body percussion like I did. You could pat, you could pat on your chest, you could clap, you could snap, whatever you wanna do. You get to make it up. And then right after you say alligator pie, you are going to perform your eight beat rhythm composition that you made during your assignment last week. So you'll have to pull that out and remember how it goes and practice it. You might even have to write it down because as you make your Flipgrid video, you're not going to be able to look at that rhythm and make your video at the same time. So you might have to write it down for yourself or you could just memorize it, memorize how it goes. And then you record yourself doing both right in a row. So you don't have to do like what I did, A, B, A, C, A, you're just gonna kind of do two parts. So if you were the first person, then you would be the A, alligator pie, and then your rhythm would be the B section, and then that's it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the videos and put them together for one big rondo that has everybody's different compositions in between. If you need any help or if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message in Google Classroom or send me an email. Have fun.